Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are joining us from today. It is episode 16 of the Coach's Corner. Wow. So very excited about this particular Great. series. As you can see, we have the kiddos with us. So this week's episode is called Coach's Kids. So we're going to chat with our kids today and kind of talk about how Iris Vision has made an impact in their lives as well. Because although um, for those of us who are users, we know what kind of impact it makes on our lives personally, right, Michael? Like yeah. just the oh, yeah. independence, the confidence that we gain from being able to use Iris Vision and actually being able to see again. So it affects um, everybody, right? It affects our loved ones. And this particular episode is going to be focused on our kiddos because Believe it or not, it has an effect on their lives too, right guys? Yes. Right, so today we're just gonna chat with our little ones and kind of talk about um, what kind of difference that they've seen in, the, in our lives um, since, like for, for me, since I've had Iris Vision. And we're a little different, right, Michael? Our stories are a little bit different because they've known all their lives that I am, uh, partially sighted. But Sophia, your kids have a little bit of a different experience because um, you just lost your sight not too long ago, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll, we'll get the perspective of these kids. So just to jump right in, um, I'm going to start with the big one here. My, my older daughter, she's 14 years old. You want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Julia, I'm 14 years old, and yeah. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Hi. And then what is your name? I'm Victoria, I'm nine years old. I'm about to be 10, right? Ooh, yeah. Double digits. Double digits, it's a milestone okay. birthday. And then who do we have on your end, Michael? Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Sophia. And I'm um, seven years old, and I'm about to turn eight on the 28th. On the 28th. Woo! Awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask you a question real quick, OK? So you know that um, since, uh, and I'm talking to Julia, uh, my oldest. So you know that since you were little, like tiny, um, you've always had to see stuff for me, right? So tell me, tell our viewers out in the world what life was like for you kind of growing up and having to see things for me and read things for me um so i just i remember um having to press like the button when i had to cross the road um when we lived in tucson for my mom i had to watch to see when the sign like said stop or said go and i had to like read prices for her a lot and so I feel like I just had to be like alert a lot and watch a lot of things from my mom so that we didn't get hurt or that we like didn't just do something. Get alert. squashed by a car? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, a big, that's a big responsibility. That's very cool. And I also, I remember I help my mom take care of my little sister. Yeah, yeah. Um, Julia actually started reading when she was about 18 months old. Um, I made sure I taught her how to read so that she could help me see. <laughs> she wow. was my seeing eye kid. <laughs> yes, that's Sophie. Yeah, so there you go. Sophie is my companion and every time we go out into the stores, you help me out, don't you? Mm -hmm. What do you help me with? I help him with like looking for stuff he wants me to look for. Like what? Like food and stuff. Like avocados, Roy's, delicious. Mm -hmm. All the good stuff. <laughs> All the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie is dying to show you her donut from the donut bar. Ooh, Check it out. Let's see Check it. it. What? Uh, that's, cool donut. That's, a, that's a a loony corn donut. It's a unicorn. Unicorn, whatever. <laughs> unicorn. It's from a place called the Donut Bar here in San Diego. It's delicious. Cool. 
Well, so, thank Sophie, you for sharing, Sophie. That that yeah. looks delicious. So, Sophia, what's the biggest difference between when I could see and when I could not see? What do you think is the biggest difference? The biggest difference is that, like, it's like the same, but they're different. Mm. Like, one is like kind of blind, mm -hmm. and it's like, and the other ones that you could see very well is like a pair of eagle eyes. Yeah, like my shirt. It's mm. it's an eagle. Yeah. But without the head. <laughs> but without the head, though. But yes, I actually awesome. didn't have eagle eye vision back then, but. It is a, a stark difference, you know, being able to see and then not being able to see. It's it's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. crazy. It affects everybody. It does. Mm -hmm. So, Victoria, um, what was what was it like before mommy had Iris vision? And then now that mommy has Iris vision, how is it different? So first let's talk about before. What it is so that we lived before. Mm -hmm. I didn't really comprehend that. I was like, I knew you're blind, but you know, mm -hmm. it's like I felt like you weren't because you already like, saw everything for me. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, yeah, you can you can see. So you didn't actually really realize right away that I that mommy couldn't see very well. Yeah, I just knew you could. But... You knew I could, but that I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like the shirt that Sam from the Blind Life has that I can see, but I can't see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then when mommy got Iris vision, how did you see, like, what, what kind of difference did you notice? That you had a big box on your head. A big box on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it helps me see, right? Yeah. Do you guys ever try on your mom's Iris vision? Yes. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. think? Sophia too. Um, I think that it's like weird because I'm just like, oh my gosh, where am I going? Because like, I don't know, it's just different. Do you guys ever use the video player? She does. Victoria does. Oh, nice. She actually likes metal. What? So, you, would you say your favorite mode on Iris Vision is video player? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But mommy won't say not to get too close to the screen, but yeah. you always look. Oh yeah, you always used to say no. Don't be too close to the TV. Don't be too close to this. And that, that's, that's what my grandma told me. Yes. <laughs> um, Sophia, what is it like? Um, to you, what do you think when? when you see your dad wearing his iris vision like how does that make you feel mm, it feels like happy that he's like learning and seeing stuff with the iris vision that he's knowing a lot of things about the iris vision mm -hmm. cool what's uh, your what's your favorite thing about my headset sophie the sticker. oh the sticker? <laughs> yeah. You guys know who that is, right? What is it? It's Toph from Avatar. Yeah. Toph Beifong. Do you know what do you know what Toph's nickname was? Sophie, do you know what Toph's nickname was? What was it? She gets so embarrassed. My bandit. The blind bandit. bandit. That's right. <laughs> One of the most powerful characters on the show. And she was blind. <laughs> Boom. Yes. So, Julia, um, you're you're a little bit older now, right? You're a teenager. You're 14 years old. Oh, such a fun age. Yeah. Right. So excited about that. <laughs> no, a little sarcasm in the voice. No, I'm just kidding. No. So, how is it different now? Like when I go out with my iris vision and we go to restaurants and things like that. How how is life different now? Um. Now I just need to show you which page to be at just tell you which word to look at you just say put your finger here and then you already know instead of us having to read the entire menu <laughs> from front to back even though you probably won't want to eat it you're like just read it anyways <laughs> are you a vegetarian oh, vegan. You. <laughs> you're vegan why are you making them read you all the options because i just don't know what i want 
<laughs> and now with Iris Vision, I could just read the entire menu myself. Yeah, or right. the Iris Vision can read the menu to you. Oh, oh that's true. Good. With the Iris oh. Reader, we do have that optical character recognition mode. Yeah, that's right. OCR, baby. Okay. And I've done that. I've done that before. So I do that quite a bit, actually. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't feel like reading, you know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So are you happy um, that I can see for myself now? Um, yeah, I'm proud of you because, you know, it's like a big difference because you've been blind like since you were like younger than me, older, mm -hmm. a little older than Toria, and like all the way barely up until I was like 12. When I was like the age that you became blind, you were able to see. Yeah, that's true. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as a as a kid, um, it was tough growing up, you know, like not being able to see, um, and things like that. And I wish I had something like Iris Vision at that time. Yeah. So now that there's something like this, um, out in the market, like such an amazing, um, you know, piece of technology. Uh, what kind of advice would you give maybe someone who is younger that is in a situation like mine? Maybe they have Stargardt's disease or maybe um, another type of eye condition. What would you say to them in regard to iris vision? Um, I would say that it will be a really good help. It will just take time to like learn how to use it and learn all the things, but it will definitely be worth it in the end because it's helpful what's the other word for helpful my phone turn sure <laughs> mm -hmm. well, that's very what good you say sophia to somebody your age that maybe can't see just like me and your dad you know we can't see so we need iris vision to be able to see if there was someone around your age that couldn't see what would you say to them about iris vision uh What would you say? Try it out. Give it a shot. <laughs> Learn how to earthbend. Learn how to earthbend. There you go. That's okay. <laughs> what would you say, Victoria, to someone your age? No, what would you say about, you know, if if someone your age, you know, couldn't see? What would you tell them about iris vision? Um, tell them to get it. Do you know why? Why? And you're the person. Oh, I'm the person? Yeah, okay. you're the person. Why? Because you won't need to walk it off, and instead you're going to need to save up. Oh, I don't understand. What would you say in regard to, like, what a difference it can make in their life? Because they could see. Yeah. And be normal like everyone else. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I would definitely, if, if, it were me and I was that age again in this time with Iris Vision, I would encourage someone to definitely look into it because if it made such a huge difference in my life now as a grown up, can you imagine, you know, how much more of a difference it would make to someone say Sophia's age yeah. or Victoria's age or Julia's age, right, Michael? Yeah. Like, how are you gonna watch Octonauts? How are you gonna watch your YouTube videos? You know? Right. How are you gonna like be on TikTok? Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, whatever platform you, you use. <laughs> I don't even know what these kids do these days. <laughs> or how are you gonna watch YouTube play Roblox? Like Friday Night Funkin'. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the other day, Victoria and I were um, playing Roblox. I was using my my device to play Roblox with her. And it was a, a very interesting experience, <laughs> to say the least. Was it challenging? Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> but it was fun, because I'm, I'm not used to playing those type of games, so. But anyways, any any closing comments from anybody? Yeah, I have a quick closing comment um i just want to give an appreciation to all the family and friends and caregivers of people with 
uh, low vision and just, you know, in general, any disabilities. Um, like you said at the beginning of the, uh, of the episode, we, uh, you know, our disabilities affect everybody around us. And, uh, you know, we appreciate everything that, you know, those people do for us, whether it's just kind of holding our hand or, um, you know, helping us to identify things. It, it's just the little things that mean a whole lot to us. So thank you, Sophie. And thank yeah. you, Brittany. <laughs> Definitely agree completely. Extending that gratitude and appreciation to my friends and family too. And, yes. um, you know, everyone out there because it does make a huge difference in their lives, um, whether we realize it or not, you know, like you said, Michael, it's the little things, mm -hmm. signing a receipt and filling out the tip area myself without yeah. having Julia do it or Victoria do it, you know, being able to um, look at the different colors for nails, although Victoria picked my nail color this time, it's really bright green. She told me I'd be safe in the zombie apocalypse. So thank you, Victoria, for that. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, honestly, doing little things like that, it's, it's really a big impact, a, a huge impact. And I do appreciate my girls. I appreciate my family, for sure, um, for always being there prior to iris vision and even now with iris vision it, it does make a difference so um so glad to be able to share uh our story with everyone out there it, because now everyone can see like how real and how awesome um something like this like this type of assistive technology is and such a huge difference it can make in everybody's life yep big time yes so any any words from you girls mm -hmm. no you're good sophie you good Sophie, any last words no. you sure you she's ready for that donut man oh man show the donut <laughs> one more time do the donut That's one more time look at that guy look at that thing take a bite of the donut do it that's the plate bite it. <laughs> 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 if I eat it all in one day. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, um, Michael, do you happen to have a pro tip off the top of your head? Um, here's a pro tip. If you guys have the wireless charging pad, the wireless charging pad, that's the, the pad that looks like a hockey puck that the Iris Vision sits on, uh, do not plug the other end of that into a computer. Plug it into a wall port because it will not charge. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that from experience? Yes. <laughs> awesome, that's a great pro tip. Wall outlet, use it. Use it, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, Michael, Sophie, thank you so much for joining us. Julia, Victoria, thank you so much for joining us today. It was an awesome, uh conversation we had and, nice meeting uh, you what's that it was nice meeting julie and victoria nice meeting you too yeah nice meeting you sophie safe safe. <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much um we'll see you during the next episode of the coach's corner bye bye, bye. bye.